Drags it off to Vito, and the flying right winger picks up his second try. Lotty for Kerry. That's his first try for the Wallabies. And would you believe it, he scored it as a flanker. <laughs> And away goes Lloyd Williams, out of position, the scrum half on the wing, and here's Gareth Davis, he's backed it up and he's scored! What a try for Wales! And Lonnie Takiri, who's thrilled this crowd here at Suncorp many times, for the Broncos, for the State of Origin and the Australian Rugby League team, on the field. Well, the interesting change here, obviously Phil wore off, Lottie to carry on. Let's see who lines up where. The Darnie Craven Stadium in Stellenbosch. Now flatly, George Smith slumped in midfield, but he drives forward. Lottie to Kerry. That's his first try for the Wallabies. And would you believe it, he scored it as a flanker. <laughs> as Daniel Herb, Anthony Herbert did as a flanker against the All Blacks in 92. Now watch his leg drive. He winds up, goes again. Lotte to Kerry. Just bulldozes through, knows where the try line was. Try time. Well, who would have thought that they signed him? <laughs> that he would score a try as a flanker. And Stephen Moore, and there's Radigi Samo, who today becomes a winger and the first player in Rugby World Cup history to play as a forward and a back in the same tournament. <laughs> Taking in the tackle of Adam Burns, and Cooper has it. They decide on the kick again for Radeki Samo. He swallows it up, gets rid of one. Can't get her on the outside of Siblikiewicz, but have a look at Higginbotham and support to Sharp. Oh, it's wonderful! Cooper! And it's a try for McKelman. With the pass, this time he elected to just chip to the right wing. The big fella's there. Takes a couple down with him. Throws the one-handed pass. And look at that. Then Nathan Sharp gets involved. Knows there's got to be some support players. Craig Cooper doing what he's done. He started the movement off with the chip kick in the corner. And it's clean ball for O'Connor. And O'Connor sets off. And here is Radiki Samo gets rid of the first. Finally taken down in a brave effort, but the ball's still live. Hoki Kipu just happy to take the tackle. Pocock plays halfback. Cooper, now Barnes. Barnes steps all over it. And the first try of the game goes to Derek Barnes. Well, it all started with the big run from the right winger, Radiki Samo. So the All Blacks are going to go to the bench. This is a very interesting change. You won't see it very often. Brad Thorne is going to replace Colin Slade, which will mean Victor Vito will go to the wing. And uh, Pat, uh, Thorne, of course, will join the pack. So. The Wellingtonian starting in seven will end uh, effectively as a 14. Now there's Victor Vito, who is a sevens exponent, or has been in recent years. So he's got plenty of speed and skills to play in this position. They scored 11 tries today, the All Blacks. Looking for one last pass. Oh, what a pass. Wepu gives it off to Vito, and the flying right winger picks up his second try. And when you've finally taken out all the defenders and close, you look for an inside pass. Exactly what Wepu did to Vito. Well, he had three options. He could have had Owen Franks. He could have had uh, Andy Ellis, who was running back in support of his own pass there. Uh, Wepu, but he chose the closest one off his shoulder, one he knows very well. And the teammate, Victor Vito. Five in total, potentially six with Scott Williams, potentially seven with Amos going off, Liam Williams struggling, he's going to be stretched off. Lloyd Williams scrum half to come on. Is it wing, full back? Rhys Priestland will have to come on, because quite frankly it's anybody's guess. Wales have just suffered as well in attack, but just too slow in the run. As Jamie Roberts draws the man. And away goes Lloyd Williams, out of position, the scrum half, on the wing, and here's Gareth Davis, he backed it up and he scored! What a try for Wales! Sean, a team proving I want to know that their nation has been waiting for this, from the moment the draw was made.
What character! Onside. Number nine red. Is he Needs to be checked. Offside? Possibly four metres behind the man who kicks the ball. That man is Lloyd Williams. What vision, what execution. And then it still needed picking up. That's what you get, Miles, when you put two scrum miles Stop on the pitch. Sure. Yeah. If the player was not offside, you may award the try. Thank you. What a try. And brilliant from Williams. Superbly supported by Gareth Davies. Here it is. Mismatch. It looks like it was Barrett that went too far ahead and then the tracking of Davis under the sticks, the pace to get there. Wales firmly back in this game. There's the captain Brooks. He turned up late to the press conference yesterday with a big smile on his face. Happy as to be playing number eight and captaining his team. As you mentioned the story before, he's come back from retirement. He's actually taken a year off his NBA in Cambridge as well to be here with his team. He's the third choice hooker, but playing number eight, a position he says he plays a little bit for a club in England. Brits, Brits, gets a free contact, clears the ball, and bang on half time. The try goes to Lucanio out. You talked about his beautiful hands just minutes ago, Sean Maloney. And Scott Brooks setting up that try there for Lucanio Arm. He should have got the ball about five phases earlier when play swung out right down. Here it comes there. That ball needed to go through Scott Brooks's hands and they would have scored earlier. As it was, they get into the clean out. There's Brooks on one side and he lurks back up on the other. Going to go himself. No, beautiful timing. Scott Brits. Gets it to Lou Diaga. Scott Brits help juice that penalty and he's at the base now. Goes himself, Scott Brits. The captain crosses. Ah, what a moment for the 38 year old. 38. The second oldest behind Victor Matfield, the Springboks legend. Ah, why wouldn't you smile? Why wouldn't you crack it? Either way, Scott. Yeah, Vic, Vic won't thank you for mentioning that, Sean. But a well-executed move yet again from the South African line-out. And this is great reward. This will be a popular try for Scott Brooks. He's had a hand in everything today. He's shown strength and ability there, power, and also an, an amazing regenerating shoulder, which looked pretty bad five minutes ago. And across he goes, well played.